Overcooked 2 is clearly a game for babies. Look at this. That. Whatever the hell this is meant to be. And in no way did anyone sit down from a design point of view and go, this game is for adults. Adults want guns, adults want death, and adults want to see bullets going through other human beings' brains. We know this. Look at all the video games on the market right now. That's what grown-up people want. If we forget about all of that, though, no joke, Overcooked 2 is a really, really good video game, and this is coming from someone who knew of the first one and dabbled with it a little bit, but ultimately didn't want to sit around just cooking some food digitally in a like made-up world. That didn't appeal to me at all. I always want to see little games do well. Those being successful help everybody. But yeah, you're like chopping tomatoes and you throw it in with some lettuce and then you served it and you do this all within a time limit. Great, good for you, you smashed it. So in that sense, a lot of what I'm about to say may actually be relevant to the original too, but Overcooked 2 ticks a lot of the boxes that I enjoy from my video games in 2018, especially when you play it with someone sat beside you on the same sofa then. Well, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna underline it, it's damn gold. Much like before, you are just preparing food in a kitchen. So you may get asked to make a salad, for example, where you slice up some lettuce and throw a tomato friend into the mix, and that's that. You take it to the serving counter and then bask in the glory of what you've achieved. Seven years chef training, and now you're making a salad. Good for you. It's as this challenge ramps up, however, with a madness and fun in shoes. If you're indeed going through it cooperatively, it is oddly stressful in an addictive way to try and run a kitchen how you'd like. Eventually, you'll be trying to cut up vegetables, boil rice, fry chicken, wash plates, while having to do some light platforming as you run around a level. And if one thing goes wrong, your restaurant can literally burn to the ground. There's no mucking around here. Within seconds, everything can go to hell, and then you're trying to sort all that out, as well as get food to your customers. It can get so stressful that you actually need to take breaks every now and then, and yet even after all that, your body's like, I wanna play more. You get sucked back in. It's a very simple premise made all the more playable because it never forgets what it is, and it never tries to be more complicated than it needs to be. Chaos is the order of the day, and it can be so tense, I wouldn't be surprised if people actually fell out playing this. That is the risk of Overcooked 2. As I also found out, throwing food is a new addition to the series, and I can't quite imagine how it operated beforehand without it. Some levels do indeed separate both players and ask them to chuck scraps at one another as long as it's still raw. Now this has been okay by health and standards, I don't know, but it really ramps up the madness. Just imagine you're waiting to finish a dish and then your partner accidentally chucks the ingredients into the sea. Not only have you now lost precious time, but you've got this jabroni making things harder still. With all that said, I will say this experience will be diminished if you are playing it by yourself. Atmosphere is everything with this game. And also, so much can be happening on the screen, and Team 17 tries to pack so much in, it is impossible on occasion to actually figure out what you're trying to do, or what you're trying to grab, or what's going on there, what's going on here. Am I cooking steak there? Don't know, can't see, because it's right next to some rice, and I can't figure out which is which. And then it can look like you're going in the right direction, but it turns out you're going in the wrong direction, and then your kitchen is actually about to die, and that's that. You've got to start the level again, you're going to be all mad, you're probably going to smash up your TV, smash up your PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and then who's to blame? You because you lost your rag playing a video game made for infants. No, I didn't do that. That made it sound like I did that. I didn't do that. I didn't smash nothing up. That didn't, that didn't happen. I got a bit mad every here and there. But you want to get the three stars. That's the other thing. Each level has a star rating. If you do crap but pass, you get one star. If you do really well, you get three stars. And we all want three stars because otherwise we realize we've got nothing else in our lives. And then, you know, what do we do? We cry. Nobody wants to cry. They're all minor quibbles, though, and Overcooked 2 is one of those games that years ago, all the internet crazy people going, oh, this game's gonna die. These games aren't gonna be here anymore. And now, in the modern day, you can't get away from them. They're everywhere. That is a good thing. It's as video gamey as video games come, but I imagine that's why it's gonna light up a lot of people's worlds. And also, you can buy it for like 17 quid. Most video games today are 142, whatever they are. Resident Evil, the remaster's coming out, has got some kind of $900 special edition but Overcooked 2 it never takes things too far. And again, you can get it for just a couple of English notes and whatever it would be in US dollars. I don't know. I didn't look because when I use the internet, it tells me about English stuff because, yeah, I'm English. I don't control that. Why are you getting mad? Also, your mum will play this and your nan and your granddad. It's one of those and, yeah, that irks some people, but I like it. So, in short, it's very good and that means it gets good out of 10. I know everyone at the developer and the publisher will be really pleased to hear that. They'll put it on the boxes. Good out of 10, Simon Miller. But in all seriousness, Overcooked 2, it is, obviously,
very good. Now remember that all these videos are supported by patreon.com forward slash Simon316. There's a link on the screen and a link in the bio below. Like, share and subscribe. Share it if you want. Did that salute too early. I'll see you soon.